We all learned that millets are good for us and good for the planet. So here is another recipe that is very popular here at Vibrant Living and also at home. And one of the first recipes that I learned from my cousin when I just came to India 15 years ago after not living here for a couple of decades. Idlis are a popular South Indian breakfast item and most of our families do make it regularly but we make it with rice. Here we are making it with jowar. I always thought that Idlis come out best if you use stone grinder and for the longest time when I was living abroad I didn't make idlis but when I discovered high power blender like this one that I'm using I started to make idlis there as well and they used to come out so well they fermented just fine stone grinders are fantastic of course and we use them all the time my grandma used to grind fresh daily for her husband because he didn't want highly fermented idlis so once it's grounded up like this in a, a good soft consistency you mix it up with previously soaked jowar rava remember this because when you're using rice broken rice roast rice rava you don't have to soak it since jowar which is also called sorghum it has a lot of fiber you want to soak it overnight along with your urad dal you soak it separately and and you add it when urad dal is grounded up here is how it looks so you don't want to have too much water left also you want to put just enough water so that it all gets soaked up i usually put for two cups of jowar rava i put about one and a half cup of water sometimes even more depending on how fresh your jowar rava is it will consume as much water and mix it up the length of the fermentation depends on the temperature of your environment so if you are living in a cold climate let this batter stay in the oven without turning it on just maybe the light that will give enough heat for it to ferment beautifully and maybe you want to ferment it a little longer for steaming you can use various different containers of course the idli steamer is ideal otherwise you can just use a regular vegetable steamer or even a bamboo steamer it works fantastic For regular idlis that are made with rice, 8 minutes to 10 minutes is more than enough to steam. But for jowar idlis, you want to steam about 15 minutes. Look at how beautifully it fermented. Look at all those bubbles, airy, airy. It smells amazing. It gives me great satisfaction to see good bacteria doing its magic. Since idlis are a fermented item and are easy to digest, children and elderly are given and even the ones who are recovering from sickness. So take out only the amount of batter that you need for that meal, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of water to bring it to a right consistency to pour it into the molds. Here is a fun fact for you about jowar. Did you know jowar has a lot of antioxidants, even more than your blueberries and mulberries etc.? Yes, it is high in ORAC value and it is local to us and it grows easily and it is great for soil health and planet health, not only our health. That is why we should use a lot of millets in our diet and because they have a lot of vitamin B's and proteins and fiber and whatnot, a lot of minerals as well. Just wet your steamer a little bit. Some people use oil, but just water too is enough. Set a timer for 15 minutes and usually last 3 minutes or so uh, I simmer it and let it sit for another 5 minutes without opening the lid and then the idlis come out without sticking to the bottom of the pan. See how beautiful they look? Just don't tell your family that they are healthy. They are just as beautiful and tastier than your standard idlis. They puff up beautifully because they fermented wonderfully. And look how bouncy. These are so much more nutritious. You can eat three idlis and be full until lunchtime. Or you can even have these for lunch and not be hungry in the middle of the afternoon. You can serve these with podis like I'm doing here. Uh, we are doing, I'm using kobari karam from Vibrant Living and also uh, curry leaf powder using coconut oil for one and sesame oil for the other. You can serve with, of course, chutneys and sambars as well. It's your choice. 
This is a regular item at our homes and also at Vibrant Living, all our outlets, including the airport one has in its menu. All our non-Indian family loves idlis and for that reason we have the batter handy. Actually we have batter handy even at Vibrant Living for you guys to pick up. Even the puddies and the gunpowders are available on our website. If you like this recipe, do share and subscribe.